Okay, we're going to start with the nation. One million applicants seek 1.3 trillion naira consumer credit loan. Customs impounds 844 rifles and um, over 110,000 ammunition and drugs. Okay, which story? Uh, there's some stories inside. Um, one million applicants seek 1.3 trillion. Okay, we took that already and uh, we took that story. I think that's all. Okay. okay, so I think I have the one million applicants. So more than one million applicants have made a cumulative 1.3 trillion loan request from Nigerian Consumer Credit Corporation, Credit Corp. They are among those in participation in the consumer credit scheme of the federal government due to go into operation very soon. No fewer than 2 million people are expected to benefit from the scheme by the end of next year. I'm not even one of them. <laughs> the scheme, a key campaign promise of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is programmed to enable Nigerians to have access to soft loans to acquire properties that will make life easy for them. A report also said that, um, the, that there's a gender bias in the sense that 74% were known to be more men than women, and that the men were actually trying to get the credit for housing um, allowances yeah. for vehicle purchases, unlike the women who were trying to use that for household expenses. They also said that they have a high percentage of um, credit to fund school fees and investments. Uh, the chief executive officer of Credit Corp, Uzoma Nwamba, told the nation that the agency was on the last lap of planning for the takeoff of the program. Mm. Yes. And he also said that the credit facility will be modest, will be available to anybody that has modest income and you should be able to have access to vehicle, solar panel, cell phone, laptop, education house, other things that are available to um, help the quality of life, you know, better. And that the good, great thing about it that it helps you pay back after a yeah. prolonged period yeah. of time. Yeah, I think I should key into yeah. this too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wali Edu, has called for collaborative efforts um, to address the multifaceted needs of children and women in our society. He was speaking yesterday in Abuja uh, during the Social Program Cross Learning Summit, where he said that the government has introduced 25,000 naira cash transfer um, over the next three months to poor, vulnerable families um, to alleviate the immediate economic pressures. Um, and mitigate the social economic impact of recent economic um, reforms, um, according to according to the minister. He, the, the, so there will be a federal government is collaborating with UNICEF um, and other partners to emphasize the need for strengthened um, social protection systems to address the issue of poverty in our nation. So um, obviously, this is an important social welfare program that the federal government is introducing in collaboration with UNICEF. Okay, so I have the story of the customs um, in pound 84, 844 rifles. Um, they said the Nigeria Customs Services has failed, the has failed the importation of a large catch of arms and ammunition hidden in a 40-foot container marked MAEU165396 from Turkey. It impounded 84 units of rifles and 112,500 pieces of live ammunition imported via Oni ports in River State. They said the rifles and ammunition were concealed using various items such as doors, furniture, plumbing fittings, and leather bags. And they also said the value of payable duty on that container is about four billion. And the controller, um, Customs Adewale Adeni, also, um, also said that they also seized um, all the other items that were seized, their drugs worth over 13.9 billion. Imagine that. He said three suspects were in custody after the service got a detention warrant from a court. He said illicit drugs were found in different cartons in nine containers. And he, um, the shipments from their point of departure in collaboration with local and international intelligence agencies, that was how they got the information that they're expecting those kind of... So they trailed that container from Turkey down, even as it was going into other countries. Mm -hmm. They trailed it down to Nigeria. I wonder Nigeria. what happens. We need to bring in somebody from the customs or from yes. the police to tell us what they happens what after. Happens. Because we see this in the papers and that's it. Mm. We don't really know what happens. If it's confiscated, is it given hand? Is it handed over to the police? Really what happens? What, happens? what I would like to know is what so happens to the per drugs. people that bring it in. Mm. Do, they, do they successfully <clears throat> trace through mm. to find who... And do they even burn the drugs? They don't it's important that it's, it's destroyed because we don't, there's always issues of... NDLA always shows video of... And well, I just hope that they're this consistent because sometimes yeah. we hear that they burn it, sometimes we don't hear it. Mm. So hopefully... 
Okay, see how I have is. a story. The uh, follow-up on the bombing that took place in Borneo State, they said the death toll has risen to 31. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, it's now 32 because one more person died. Mm -hmm. um, total people that were taken to the hospital were 42. Mm -hmm. 14 have been discharged. 26 people are still receiving medical treatment. The vice president um, visited. He was in company with the acting governor, mm -hmm. uh, Umar Usman Kada Kada for Babagada Kingibe, Senator Ali Undume, and the Minister of Agri Agriculture and Food Security, Abubakar Kiari. They also had the former ambassador of Nigeria to China, Baba Hamed Jida, and the general director of NEMA and other government functionaries. In the visit, the president mentioned, the vice president mentioned that he made, he made personal donations to support the recovery. He said this was very gruesome, very cold-blooded. He, he quoted Delegiwa in saying, one life lost in cold blood as gruesome as is as gruesome as millions lost in cold blood. And in speaking to reporters, he has condoled with the family. Am I ever concerned about what the acting governor said? So the acting governor said, we urge the people to accept this as the, an act of oh. God. Mm. It started again. No? Yes. And I do not think under any... Ah. It, there is not a... Well, it mm -mm. No, we need right to it's not an act of God. Yes. No, no, this no, is no, an yes. act of terrorism. Yes. It is oh, violent. Yeah, it was yeah. suicide bombing. Mm -hmm. It should be named what it yes. is. It is not an act if of I God. If I ever this job, I think I need to go and train some politicians on how to speak. Yeah. Because mm. certain things you shouldn't be saying. You yeah. know, I remember Jonathan had said it to when the, the bombing happened in the United, mm -hmm. Buildings, mm -hmm. United Nations building. In yeah, like this happens everywhere. That it happens everywhere. You know, so we just have to really caution yes. our politicians on how, how to speak. speak. And there was, for a long time, Bruno has experienced um, relative peace mm -hmm. in recent, like, yeah. They, they had bombings oh, way back, but no, no. It's, it's, it's like it's coming back. So this is not the language of someone oh. who wants to deal with the situation. So saying act of God for me is not um, exactly not pleasant mm -hmm. feedback, but they appreciated all the medical uh, personnel that came in to rescue people mm -hmm. and also appreciated the Nigerian army for mm -hmm. walking into that place, even at the yeah. time when they were not sure what else would happen Happens. to rescue people. So yeah. amazing. I just, I just got a job. Thanks to the Nigerian <laughs> to do a course on this. The punch. Mm. Marketers fear high price petrol ahead of supply. Customs sees 18, point, 18 billion naira firearms talked about that drugs from Turkey and recover over 800 rifles. 27 killed others injured in Kano Ogun crashes. Lagos Ogun top as internet users hit 164 million. Recapitalization. Bank directors acquire 39 billion naira shares. Federal government revokes 870 billion naira road contracts. 2270 projects suffered delay. Kano plans appeal after losing with billion naira suit against federal government. INEC lacks power to conduct LG elections, like local government elections, says Yakubu. Okay, let's take one story before we go on a break. Who has that? Okay, Excuse so me. the Dangote refinery um, what has been in the news back to back. The petrol from Dangote refinery will be hitting um, the market in the I next know. two, three weeks. However, you know, they have just been giving us some, like, don't expect a whole lot because they said the price might even be higher than what is in the market right now because mm. Dangote Refinery, <clears throat> which is a 650,000 capacity refinery, failed um, in its attempt to um, get feedstock, which is the raw material it would use to process mm. from the locally available international oil companies. So based on that, the marketers are saying, that the major marketers are scared that the Dangote fuel might be Getting into the market at a higher price. They said non-supply of exactly. crude oil is a big challenge for the Dangote. The mm -hmm. Everybody let's, is just coming to the media. Let's go on a break. <laughs> let, 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 okay, let, I don't want to hear anything. Let's, let's, <laughs> just, let's, let's, let's just receive let's, it. Let's receive it first. Now discuss price later. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> come in, come in, come, come in. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.